So today we're going to be taking a look at yet another case and this is a company that's been in the case game for a long time. They've been consistently making leather cases and sport cases and now they make a rugged case. This is the Nomad modern leather case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So taking a look around the packaging, on the front you do have a picture and pretty much accurate size of the case itself. Now I did get the English tan version which is this color. It also comes in black and brown. So the brown is like a darker brown than this. This is the English tan. So looking around the rest of the box, down here it does say English tan leather. You get some Nomad branding right there, nice textured branding. And on the back, it gives a little bit of information and some pictures. So on the top, it does say full grain, sustainably sourced leather, TPU bumper for eight foot drop protection, tactile anodized aluminum buttons, and MagSafe and wireless charge compatible. Now with this case, they give you a picture of what it looks like fresh out of the box. And 100 days later, after the leather patinas, that's what it's going to look like. It's just a divided picture in half right there. And right here, it gives you another picture of the case, and it just says proudly carbon neutral since 2020. So that's pretty much all you get all the way around the box. Nothing else crazy. So in order to open it, super simple packaging, very clean. You just give this a pull, a yank, because it's kind of hard to get out. But as soon as you're able to get it out of there, nothing else in the box here. And you just get your case right there. So that's it. Let's set that packaging off to the side and take a look at the case. Now, right off the bat, I have been using this for a couple days and I did get a little bit of markings right there on the side of it. But you know, this is a leather case. That's kind of what you're going to be expecting. Leather does build character. I call that just some character on the case. So no big deal at all. Now, taking a look at the back of the case, you do get that nice leather material here. Like I said, this is full grain leather and you do get your camera ring right there. Now, the camera ring is a polycarbonate material. It is not metal. However, these buttons and the side button are metal. So I do wish we would get a metal camera ring right here, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. It still will protect your camera nicely. Moving along to the inside, you get this very nice sort of microfiber style material on the inside that'll protect the back of your phone, especially if it drops or anything like that, a nice soft cushion, and you do get your MagSafe ring. Now we'll test if it has that MagSafe alignment magnet built in, but right now we don't see that. So moving around the sides of the case, right here you do have your aluminum buttons, and don't, you don't have to worry about this scratching up the buttons on your phone, they're very flat. So, plus the side of your buttons, the buttons themselves are titanium. So you've got a lot better chance of your phone damaging these buttons than you do these buttons damaging your phone. So, like I said, you do get the shell of this case is polycarbonate, but the sides are that TPE material and it goes all the way around the sides of the case. So you pretty much only get the leather on the very back of the case. So before we go ahead and put our iPhone 15 Pro Max in here, let's take our scale over and we'll weigh the case. So turning it on, I think we're in pounds and ounces again. Yeah, as per usual, pounds and ounces. So let's take it over to grams and let's set this down. So we're looking at 42 grams on this case. So right there around the similar weight to a lot of the other uh, leather cases on the market, not too light, not too heavy. Nice weighted case here, but it doesn't feel its weight. It definitely doesn't feel too heavy in the hand or anything like that when you are holding it. So let's go ahead and take our black titanium 15 Pro Max. We'll slap it in here and let's listen out for that click. Very nice click onto the case. Now you're getting that because the sides of it are that TPE material along with the polycarbonate frame all the way around. So it's gonna have that really nice click onto the case. And let's listen to how those corners sound. Nice click there. Camera corner has a very good click. Oh, almost dropped the phone. Three and four. Now, one thing I just noticed, first of all, nice clicks all the way around the case. One thing I just noticed that I didn't notice before, it seems to, when you're taking out one corner of the case, it almost seems like the rest of it wants to come off. Now, I know that's kind of, I guess, what it's supposed to do since it's you're trying to take off the case, but I would like a little bit more resistance on the corners or the sides of the case. That way when you do get one out, it's not super easy to just pull the rest of them out. But you know, once it's on there, it is on there. So you don't have to worry about this coming off if you drop your phone or anything like that. It shouldn't pop out of the case. So I know before there was an issue also with the fit of this case around the sides where a lot of people would complain with previous iPhones that it would show the sides of the phone a little bit and you would be able to see the color of the phone 
on the outside of the case here but they seem to have fixed it this year with the Nomad. If you guys have this case, let me know down below. Do you see the very edge colors of your phone or no? Let me know down in the comments. But other than that, to me, I do have the black phone along with the black frame, so it doesn't look like it has any of the edges exposed, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. So anyways, moving along, let's take a look at the sides of the case. Now on the top, it is completely closed in. On the left-hand side, we have this nice little groove that goes on the inside that's there to help you with a little bit of that grip, and you have your anodized aluminum buttons here. So let's listen to how those buttons sound. Very nice, very clicky buttons. I really enjoy the fact that they put aluminum buttons on this case. I'm always a sucker for some metal buttons because it just gives you that really premium click. It's not mushy, it's not muted or anything. You get a nice click on each button. So I'm a huge fan of metal buttons on pretty much any case. I really like that a lot. And the rest of the case is closed in. Now on the bottom, you do have equal cutouts for your microphone and your speaker. So they're not accurate cutouts like you do see in a lot of cases. They are equal, they're the same size and a nice wide open USB Type-C port. Now, if you guys can see before we test out the cable in here, if you guys can see that, these port, the port and the speaker and mic are very deep in there. I'm not sure if that's gonna affect the use of it with any of your cables or anything, but with my cable, like I said, I usually use the anchor cables. With my cable, I haven't had any issues with it. So let's actually go ahead and take our cable and put it in here. There we go. We are charging right there and you do get a nice wide open USB Type-C port. So pretty much any of your cables should fit in there. I don't see any cables really not working with this case. So I do really like that that's a wide open USB Type-C port. And moving along to the right hand side, you do get a little bit of Nomad branding right there and the rest of it is closed in as well as your power button. Now the power button is textured compared to the other buttons, so you're able to differentiate them. I do like that a lot. Very nice feeling and tactile click on that power button, so you can, if it's in your pocket like this, or like this, you can differentiate which way the phones are besides feeling how many buttons there are. So, nice touch by Nomad on that. Now let's take a look at that camera and screen protection. Starting off with the screen, I am using a tempered glass screen protector. You barely, barely looks like get a lip on that. So I would definitely be a little bit careful setting this down face down on its screen. No matter what you're doing, I would only set it on a very smooth surface, especially if you're not using a screen protector. I would set it on a very smooth surface if you have to set it down on its screen. But if not, I honestly wouldn't even do that. So, you know, take that how you will, but I wouldn't really go setting this down on its face. And moving along to the camera ring, you do get a nice proper camera protector there. So you can definitely set it down on any surface like this pretty much, and it shouldn't scratch up your camera. Nice protection on the camera. I would like to see a little bit better screen protection on this case. Now, how does the case feel in the hand? And it feels good, but to be honest with you guys, when I'm buying a leather case, I, I understand that this gives you that eight feet of drop protection. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it does give you, Nomad says, eight feet of drop protection, and that has to do with the TPE material and that polycarbonate frame. But when I'm buying a leather case, I really just want a complete leather case all the way around, one color, and I really wish that Nomad would come out with that leather case that has that. But for me, you know, this, um, this TPE material and everything, it's great, but I always prefer a leather case when I'm putting on a leather case. That's, you know, it, it just gives you that much better look. Where here it almost looks like it's just a skin on the back of the case rather than being a leather case and you just slap the skin onto a black plastic case is what it kind of reminds me of. And also another thing that I've never really liked is the bottom of this case is super sharp. I'm somebody who holds, as you guys know, my phone like this after a few minutes, you get a really big, it's not really a pain, but you can very much feel that charging port on your pinky either side. It's, it's definitely not the most comfortable thing to hold. Nomad, if you guys are listening, please somehow round that out a little bit better or something like that so it's not super sharp because I definitely get that issue often, you know, when I'm using it it does feel a little bit heavy on my finger specifically because of that. And it does create a little bit of redness and an indent in my finger. So I would love to see that bottom edge flattened out or smoothed out a lot 
uh, I think that would make the case so much better. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test our MagSafe. Now, starting off with our Apple MagSafe battery pack, there's our animation. And as soon as you start moving your hand around the wallet, it basically immediately starts moving around. So this is definitely not the strongest magnet on the case. I would like to see stronger magnets that would really help your Apple leather wallet or any other leather wallet or fine woven wallet stick on there a little bit better. So I would really like to see that. So if you guys are users of the Apple MagSafe wallet or really any MagSafe wallet, please be careful with this case, especially with that pocket or purse or sling bag when you're putting it in there, this may come right off. So be very careful with that. And moving along to the Apple MagSafe battery pack, slap that on, hang on. Let's try that one more time so we get that animation. Make sure it's not charging anymore. Slap that on. There's our animation. No, no animation. Okay, well, either way, we did get the charging on there. And let's actually see if this has that alignment magnet. And you move it around, and I do not feel an alignment magnet. So that is something to definitely note. If you guys are using MagSafe accessories, you're not going to get that alignment magnet in there. So going off to our shake test, it's starting to move and this isn't even me shaking it as hard as I can. The Apple MagSafe battery pack, I can feel it almost just, just you know, giving, sliding a little bit off, but catching itself on that magnet. So this definitely isn't going to be able to be shaken as hard as you can. I think that this will come right off and I would be kind of afraid. Now, of course, you're not using, you know, you're not walking around shaking your magnet or anything like shaking your, uh, Apple MagSafe battery pack or any of your MagSafe packs on the regular basis, you're not doing that. But that is something that I wanna test out for you guys because the magnets on this just aren't the strongest thing in the world. And also if you guys can see that, just from you know light use, I am getting a little bit of scratching right there. But again, full grain leather, that's expected. So not the strongest magnet in the world, even with that silicone material on the bottom of the MagSafe battery pack, it's not the strongest MagSafe out there. So finally moving along to our Anchor 623. Let's go ahead and set that on here. Will it pick up the base? It'll pick it up, but as soon as you even, you know, move your wrist a little bit, it's coming right off. So that is definitely something to note. And let's see if it'll pass our 360 degree rotation test. Yeah, that it's passing with no issues. So I guess if it has any sort of movement or anything like that, it may come off, but it should still be just fine on your car mount or your nightstand charger, whatever you're using, whether you're in portrait or landscape mode, you should be good to go with absolutely no issues of this coming off of your base. Now, if it gives it a little shake, and also if you're on a bumpy road and you have it you know, on your car mount or anything, a little bit of a pothole or a bump may end up making it come right off. So that is definitely something to note there. Now, do I recommend this case? And for $50, which is the price point on the Nomad Modern Leather, I would say I would recommend this case if you're somebody who's looking for the mixture of leather, but also really good drop protection. Because for somebody like me, I prefer a full leather case to be leather all the way around, whether it's like the Bullstrap or the Andar Aspen, the Ryan London, whatever it is, it's leather all the way around. Whereas this one, it's one thing I've, kind of disliked a little bit about Nomad's leather cases is that if you're setting it down like this and you look at it from the side, it's kind of not the best look because it literally just looks like a leather skin. If I want to put a skin on my phone, I would get a case that's, you know, a little bit more protective with a little bit better MagSafe and just put a skin on there or honestly just put a skin on the back of the phone depending on what I'm trying to accomplish. But you know, with this, I, I do wish at least this was even color matched. If this was color matched, it wouldn't even be an issue because you wouldn't be able to tell unless you're actually holding it in your hand, which at that point, it doesn't really matter. Most people just see it. But for the looks, now again, if you're getting the black leather, it'll match a little bit better. But with brown or this English tan, I do wish that it was color matched or just full leather all the way around the case. So that being said, 50 bucks, I recommend it if you're somebody who's looking for leather with great protection, but if you're looking for just a nice leather case, I would honestly look at my options somewhere else, such as the Andar Aspen, it's only like $5 more than this case, or if you really wanna get fancy, go with the Bullstrap, that's like $90, but it's a full grain, completely leather case, and it even has a better MagSafe than the Nomad Modern Leather case. So 
With that being said, this is the Nomad Modern Leather in English Tan. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in another leather case, I'll be sure to leave that right there.